if the brain knows that the body and the arm don't have a, a, an efficient deceleration pattern, it's not going to allow it to accelerate as much as it can. Again, when we come through, kind of pushing that elbow and then kind of lateral trunk tilt there, right? Not maximizing linear energy, but then you'll see in these next few clips that you get cut off, right? So you get cut off from the lack of that trunk flexion, which gives you a better sense of that kind of trunk rotation. So your arm is getting cut off from your pec here, and we just wanna buy the arm time, right? So when we throw a good pattern to start instilling is just throw and decelerate, bend the arm, early pronation, bend the arm, give your arm more time. This is called arm deceleration. Look at the position of his hand and arm when he finishes. That arm is coming through, that's total freedom. That's a guy in total sync in mechanics. Last year, again, watch him cut off. There's not a finish on these fastballs that he's throwing. The hand should really finish behind you when it's free and easy. And again, he's cutting that off. This year, more freedom on the arm speed. Watch where his hand winds up. Look at that difference. That is picture perfect arm deceleration. The bend in the elbow, the hand continuing past the body. Now that's something when you see great power pitchers have great arm deceleration. That means the arm is healthy and got great arm speed. My favorites, Justin Verlander, almost perfect. How about Mariano Rivera? He had this into his 40s. And I can't talk about arm decel about, without talking about this guy, Pedro Martinez. Look at the position of his hand. I gotta show you this from the center field angle though. Look at that. His hand, he's slapping the back <laughs> of his left hand.